Okay. Um. Hey, Jackie, do. Um. Y'all know I owned a red Mustang and a Cavalier and a uh, race car. Two of those cars are here. One of them's gone. I want you to guess which one's gone before I get out here and show you. Well, there's two cars gone, but one of them's still here, but it's out with uh, my dad's sister because she wrecked her car. Because she doesn't know how to drive it. But anyways, ooh, we got a new pool here. I can't wait to swim in it in the future. Race car is still here, you can see it. Cavalier's not here. Red Mustang's not here. Now, the reason why Cavalier is gone with the dad's sister, of course, is flipping the red Mustang in here. Why do I have a gray Mustang and not a red Mustang? That's probably what you're asking. I traded with this Mustang. This is an 06, the other one was an 07. There's another difference between the two. Well, it's got a little bit better of a performance exhaust than the other one. It's not, you know, it's in better shape too. It's got less miles, a lot less crap in it. Tan and her silver interior. I like the silver better than all black. My Bama Performance, I had a new one the other one said V6, this one, or V8. Jesus Christ, listen to me. It had my dad's name on it and it had 07. This one now is my name and 06. There's another difference. Got a trash control button for when I want to have fun. But the main difference between this car and the others, or the other one. Boom! <laughs> I love it. Let's see, make sure I grab the. I get. I'm getting a new shift knob. In. I don't know when. This is still the 4.06 liter. Six liter. Listen to me act like an idiot. 4.0 liter V6. I got to keep my cold air intake and my tuner. So this is on a race tune, pushing about 305 horsepower. But yeah, um, it's exactly the same thing as the other one, engine-wise and body-wise. Well, it's got a different wing on it. Personally, I like that wing better. I'm getting a shift knob either tomorrow or the next day. I'm going to supercharge it. I'm going to do coilovers. And I want to do wheels and tire or wheels. I already have new tires on there now. I don't feel like messing <laughs> performance tires or anything like that. Come on, doodle. But anyways, that's the new car. Um, I really ain't got nothing else to say about it. I mean, it's exactly the same thing, except it's 
not red and it doesn't have a wing that was repainted and but uh we traded dead even for the two cars no we didn't we traded dead even well we could have traded dead even but i got to keep my rims those are actually the rims off the red one because the ones on this one had the ford symbol in the middle and they were like a uh, black color i think they were plasti dipped and they weren't done right so it was permanent it didn't look too good but got to keep my wheels got to keep the uh, antenna because these model ford mustangs they have a real big antenna that's really not necessary all you have to do is cut them and put a golf ball at the end of it or you don't even have to do that um i got to keep that the tuner the cold air intake and that's it uh, I think it was like a thousand dollar difference, but really, it was worth it. Because all of that stuff together was sides of the antenna because that's free. And if you don't put the golf ball on there, that that all leads up to around that price. So, yeah, I'm I'm happy. You know, put my key here, and I still have the original stuff from the other car. This one. Should be for the 07, which it is. This one's for the 06, which is out there right now. But, um, yeah, I just... I like this car better just because of the 5-speed in it. If the red one was a 5-speed, it would still be here. That's what I said before, but, you know. That car is going to be here for a really long time. I plan on keeping that for about 30 years or something. I don't know. I really want to keep it, though. That's the car that I want to say, yeah, I've had this ever since high school. Well, really, middle school, I think. I'm still in. I don't know. I don't keep up with school. I keep up with flipping and work. I still do school, but, you yeah. know. Homeschool is awesome. There's my uncle's Impala in there. He's putting an LS in. There's my truck over there. There's Dad's and there's me and Dad's Dodge. Oh, and I'm planning a trip to Pennsylvania. Um, let's see, July. Uh, it's after July 9th. I know that. Hold on, I got calendars right here. There's. June, July, ooh, July, Cadillac, don't like Cadillacs that much, July, or er, July 10th, I'll be going to Pennsylvania to meet David, and, you know, see him, and see Dakota, and I almost fell, ooh, and, um, I have a friend that I met at a car show called Redneck Rumble and I'm getting rid of this picture here because you don't need to see that. That is the truck that my dad had that he put the LS in. This is the 28 Chevy or something. I don't know what model it is. I don't care. 